the Lord has given me a message to his people. Yes. And the message, the title of the message is Update Your Mind on Christ Doctrine. Mm -hmm. Update mm -hmm. your mind on Christ Doctrine. Mm -hmm. You see, the Lord told me and you right from the beginning, mm -hmm. according to the Holy Scriptures, he said he had so many things to tell us. Mm -hmm. But because of we are babies, we are, I mean, we are babies in Christ. Mm -hmm. So we need to take things one after the other. We have this doctrine of salvation. Mm -hmm. A doctrine of salvation is universal doctrine. Mm -hmm. And we have a doctrine called righteousness, mm -hmm. holiness. It's part of of God kingdom. Mm. In fact, if someone will have audacity to enter into the kingdom of God, the person needs to have this kind of layer. He should pass through this kind of layer before he has the authority mm. to enter into heaven. There is a doctrine that we begin and people are saying that we worship or serve God in our hearts. Mm. It has, not think, it, is, it has not come into mind that people are saying we only worship God in heart. Mm -hmm. But in the book of John chapter 16 verse 12, the Bible said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Mm -hmm. You cannot bear them now. What was the reason why Jesus said it? Mm -hmm. Because it was elementary teaching that Jesus was giving to them. Jesus began from repentance. Once upon a time, I remember Paul wrote in the book of Hebrew, Hebrew chapter 6 and verse 1, that we should depart from the, the elementary teachings of Jesus and go into perfection. Paul saying this. So I want you to update your mind when it comes to Christ's doctrine, mm. the kingdom of God is not silver platter. Mm. It's not about you relaxing because the Bible says your deeds will follow you. Mm. You need to sit down and analyze yourself. How can a man enter into heaven? Mm. You see, in the book of Matthew 19, the Bible says Jesus met a very young rich man. Mm. When it comes to man's perspective, this man had everything. Mm -hmm. He said, I have obeyed the commandment of God. Yes. Anytime God needs me, I'm around, mm -hmm. I'm available. But Jesus said, it left with only one thing mm -hmm. that you need to fulfill. So we have elementary teachings. And we have standard teachings when it comes to the simple principle of God. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 2, the Bible said, I have fed you with milk and not with meat. For here, for he thought you were not able to bear it. Neither yet now are ye able. Paul said, I have sat down, I have met with you, I have sat down with you, I have done with you, I have seen that you are lacking so many things. So we need to update, upgrade, activate the new doctrine. And we don't have any new doctrine. The last doctrine of God is holiness. The last doctrine with him, by him, within him. Is holiness. So probably you began by salvation, accepting Jesus as my Lord and my personal Savior. Mm -hmm. And now you are still indulging yourself in sin because you did not look for the perfection. The perfection rely mm -hmm. on holiness. The righteousness of God. Every man need to cleanse their self before inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Don't sit down and relax and think that Christ is coming to rapture his, the church 
and you'll be a man. Mm -hmm. It will never happen. No. So we I want Christians, wake up, read your Bible, act for understanding. Now we don't need any pastor to impart something into our mind. We have mind. You have school. Some of you have school. You have degrees. You don't need anyone to teach you. It is in the scriptures that after receiving the Holy Spirit, we don't need anyone even to teach us. But the Spirit of God will, will teach us by itself or by himself. So I am pr I'm praying that each and everyone should update their doctrine. A doctrine, a doctrine of holiness, righteousness. That is the perfection or the lack doctrine that we need. I have had an encounter with so many people. And any time that they say, why do you people always have, I mean, um, it, seems, it seems like you are having, um, they, they use a word, like a burden. They, they use a burden, and like I see the um, holiness has tend to become a burden. But the Bible said that the, the commandment of God is not burdensome. But we need to sit down and point to the right path. I cannot say that I can pray to so uh, that is that is all. I need to sit down. The Bible is full of our life, it's a manual of our life. We have a, a, a teachings of uh, most the, the teachings of Moses, which some of you, me, I believe some of them, many of them, has expired. So as we are moving forward, at a time I remember Moses said, when somebody even hits you, hit the person back, he named it tooth for tooth and boot for tooth, a boot for boot. And now Christ said. If someone offend you, forgive the person. It's a perfection doctrine. That is the reason why we need him. We need a new doctrine to upgrade yourself.